In 2004, Hadrat Khalifa Tulmesi V inaugurated MTA2, the second channel of the community's satellite TV station. He is very mindful of the community's well-being and needs. From the very beginning of his Hilafat, he took a keen interest in reorganizing the daily schedules of MTA to cater for the needs of different time zones of the world. He personally chaired meetings with the MTA's scheduling department and some members of the MTA board to revamp the scheduling of the channel. This led to the idea of having a second channel to provide a better service at appropriate times to different parts of the world. Under Hudu's constant supervision and guidance, MTA2 finally became reality on the 23rd of April, 2004. From the 21st of June, 2004 to the 5th of July, 2004, Hudor visited Canada, where he was given the privileges of a state VIP. Upon his arrival in Canada, he was greeted at the airport by various government officials, which included Judy Scrow, Federal Minister of Immigration and Citizenship, Joe Volpe, Federal Minister of Human Resources, Jean Augustine, Federal Minister for Multiculturalism, and various other MPs and officials. The Federal Government Police Force escorted Hudo's motorcade throughout the visit. At a welcome reception held at Baitul Islam Mosque, His Worship Michael de Biase, the mayor of Vaughan City, presented the key of the city to Hudur. The focal point of this tour was the 28th Annual Convention of Canada, held on the 2nd to the 4th of July at the International Centre, Mississauga. Hudur's addresses to the convention were televised live on MTA International. The Prime Minister of Canada also sent a special message for the convention. The promised Messiah initiated a scheme in 1905, commonly known in the Jamaat as the Vasiat, or the Will Scheme. This scheme was announced together with the announcement about the system of Khilafat in his book, The Will. Under the Vasiat scheme, devout Ahmadis who wish to become members of the scheme are required to attain higher spiritual changes in their life and commit a portion, not less than one-tenth, of their lifetime earnings and any property to the cause of Islam. By the year 2004, 38,000 devout Ahmadis had joined this blessed scheme. On the 1st of August 2004, during his concluding address to the International Annual Convention held in the UK, Hudur initiated a plan to get another 15,000 Ahmadis to join this scheme by 2005 which marks the centenary year of the scheme. Inshallah <laughs> He also said that it is his wish to include at least 50% of the earning members of the community to join this scheme. From the 16th of August 2004 to the 15th of September, Hudur travelled to Europe and graced the Ahmadiyya annual conventions of three European countries, starting with Germany. He arrived in Germany on the 17th of August and addressed their annual convention on all three days. The convention was held on the 20th, 21st and 22nd of August. On the 1st of September 2004, he set foot in Switzerland for the first time. A very warm welcome was extended to him by the Swiss officials and the Jamaat when he arrived at the Mahmoud Mosque in Zurich.
During his visit, Khudur addressed the three-day annual convention of the Swiss Jamaat, which was held on the 3rd, 4th and 5th of September. This visit was very historic in two ways. Firstly, it was the first ever that a Swiss convention was graced by a Khalifa, and secondly, for the first time in the movement's history, the sermon of a Khalifa was broadcast live across the globe from the Swiss soil. On the 8th of September, Khudur arrived in Brussels, Belgium, where he addressed their three-day convention on the 10th, 11th and 12th of September. At the end of his tour, he briefly stayed in Holland from the 13th to the 15th of September. On the 30th of September 2004, Hudor went on a historic UK tour. The centerpiece of his visit was the inauguration of the Darul Barakat Mosque in Birmingham on the 1st of October. अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह कि आज ये मातम दिया ब्रिटानिया की इस मस्जिद जो बर्मिंगम में की जमात ने बहुत सड़ा हिस्सा लेके तामीर की है इसकी तकवील होने पर इस्तेमाल हो रहा है The inaugural reception was attended by a large number of distinguished guests, including the Deputy Lord Mayor of Birmingham, members of the UK and European Parliament, scholars, journalists, businessmen, and people from other walks of life. The opening ceremony was shown live on MTA International, and extensive coverage was given in the local and national media. During this trip, Khudur also laid the foundation stones of two significant mosques. The first ceremony was held for the Al Mahdi Mosque in Bradford on the 2nd of October. The second ceremony was held on the 3rd of October for laying the foundation stone of the Nasser Mosque in Hartlepool. During this UK tour, as a gesture of benevolence and affection, Khudur accompanied all the missionaries of the movement appointed in the UK and their families for a picnic at Ilkley. He later went on to visit the community branches at the Lake District, Scunthorpe, Huddersfield, Manchester and Glasgow. <laughs> 